What's up YouTube, Oliver here. Uh, today we're going to be having a little look at uh, BB Edit 12. This is by Barebones Software and it is an HTML and text editor for the Mac. And basically if you've used Text Wrangler in the past, they've brought out BB Edit, which is a sort of newer version, has got a lot more features and it does work with High Sierra. Um, it's around about $50 in the US at the time of filming this video um, for an individual license. I believe you can use that on more than one Mac. It has got some really lovely features. It is a very clean and simple interface and it does work with lots and lots of different markup and programming languages. Very useful tool. I would almost go as far to say that it is an invaluable tool um, for a developer on the Mac to use. Okay, well let's have a look at the software. Okay, so uh, the first thing when you you presented with when you open up BB Edit. This is the main window. Basically it's a text editor. Um, it's not an IDE, it doesn't have lots of advanced features, but it is good at what it does. It's a lightweight text editor. Um, it'll open up more or less straight away. I already had this project open here, but you can choose to either have it launched to a blank text document or just to uh, launch with nothing at all. So you can just go up to file and open up uh, your own file. Um, but I basically I've put some examples in here just to show you. This is just a Java file here. Um, so firstly, what, the, what you'll notice about the application window is you've got this sidebar on the left. This will show your projects. So you can simply just open up a folder. You don't have to actually have to create um, a specific project or anything like that, which is really good. You can simply just um, use any folder which is on your Mac. It is It is a really good... Um, kind of text editor because you can open up so many different um, code files in it and really easily work between them all. You know, it's very consistent and I do like it as a basic text editor. Um, and then basically you currently open documents. It's a bit like the similar sort of thing to your folder, but if you didn't have a folder open and you just had a, a number of different documents open that weren't all in the same location, they would just appear down here and you could basically just kind of navigate through them that way. Um, you've got the main editor itself and a lot of this is customizable. You've got your line numbers, you can use the, the arrows and so on to kind of um, minimize and expand the different functions and so on. Um, further along you've got this um, sort of function viewer here which shows that this is the, the class called window and then these are the three functions within that and you can kind of click on these and it'll kind of take you, if you had a really long program it could be useful, you know if you had a big class with lots of functions you can quite quickly go straight to a specific function, you can also set markers in your code, uh, counterparts which will show any other files that might be in the same folder, anything that you might include could go up there and so on. The last just shows your document status. And then basically coming down at the bottom you've got some uh, menu like options in the footer down here so you can add new documents, you can look at things you've previously looked at recently, you can you know do what you want it to kind of show and you can also turn this um, sidebar open but basically if you hide the editor it will need to either close the the files that you're working on and reopen them it shows your line and character numbers so you can see you're on character 18 on line 20 and so on you can then use the next option to select which um, programming language you're going to use it can automatically detect or you can specify you can see there's a whole host of different languages that you can use um, various different languages on there which is nice and when you choose the appropriate one it obviously you can do syntax highlighting and some languages have different features uh, different things like your encoding and so on along the bottom tells you here uh, nine characters one words and so on and you can adjust your zoom at the bottom and that's basically um, the kind of options that you have within the application window. There are some other tools which all depend on the programming language that you're using. So um, some things that I quite like to start with, we'll have a look at this. This is in Python and it because it's a um, sort of command line based script, it, it basically there's a shebang menu at the top 
if you click on that you can actually use it to check your syntax and to run so you can either use the keyboard shortcut so if you click on them what it will do is it would bring up if there was something wrong like here it tells me if I click on it it will actually highlight there's an issue with the um, uh, syntax there yeah, and then once you've made the, the sort of adjustments you need to make, you can simply just use Command K and then it'll do a quick syntax check, which is nice because there might be things that you, you haven't noticed there. Uh, but basically, you can either use the keyboard shortcut or you can go into the menu. It will only work with certain programming languages. It won't work with things like Java or C. It only works with sort of Python and and you can also do a similar sort of check which I'll show you in a minute on web languages and if we go back into that same menu up there and we uh, run what this will actually do is it runs the um, Python code and sort of shows you the result in, in a console within the application which is a nice way to test everything out um, yeah so basically it, it is quite a handy way of, of editing Python because you can just have a look there it, it basically will run the code and show you a console um, and if we uh, let's not say that if we come to the next example, I mean it's a very quick basic HTML example here, because one thing BB Edit does have is a lot of uh, features focused for web developers. So it has some nice. If we go to the markup menu here, um, you can set things like doc type. You can do your character set. Uh, you know you can add some. These are some standard CSS. So if you click on it. It'll automatically you can type in what you want and the selector and then you can set your margin properties and so on whatever units you want to use and then it basically so say I wanted the selector to be P I wanted this to be uh, make it 10 um, percent and we click on apply what that does is it automatically generates the CSS tag there for you um, which is just handy and it's the same with any of these these are all kind of predefined you can also do things like check so if you go to your document syntax there it basically does a um, html5 validation check all within the application which is really handy and if you click on it again it highlights the area in the code and it tells you what's wrong with it so it is quite a nice feature um, and also you can preview it within the application which I quite like so if we go to preview and BB edit it brings up its own sort of built-in web browser which we can see here um, and basically what you can do is you can also use the if you click on the magnifying glass it brings up the inspectors and you can use all the sort of it must be based on like Safari WebKit or something like that and you can use the sort of debuggers and one thing or another within the application but I'll just basically go through some other features that might be worth um, pointing out. So firstly, we've got a couple of different version control systems. You've got Subversion here and also Git. Um, you've got clippings, which means you can save a snippet of code as a clipping and you can just insert those. If we start over here on the left, this is File. Obviously, you can create all of your kind of documents there. You've got your edit options, your um, text. You can. Uh, automatically comment and uncomment lines you can move things left and right uh, add remove line and so on and you know you kind of view settings so if I go to search for example and I want to go to find or press command F you get this and let's, let's just put um, let's make, say I want to find the word body I need to come up to the above there and if I click next it'll highlight every instance of body if I click find all it brings it in its own separate window and it tells you there's two occurrences found and it'll show you where and you can also do find and replace so if you wanted to replace it with uh, something else you can you can use that um, it does do auto completion with some languages as well but some are better than other I find that with things like Java C C++ the auto completion is really poor with other languages like your Python or your PHP, the auto completion is it works really well. It is quite a thorough auto completion. You can add your own custom auto completion in there, but um, obviously that'll be a, a slightly annoying. However, um, I suppose it's it's not a fully featured IDE or anything like that. Uh, but it would be nice to have a bit more auto completion. However, it is a very nice, um, you know, lightweight, streamlined text editor for the Mac which you can use for, with syntax highlighting and it does have a lot of nice features. Um, I suppose one thing I'd also like to see is maybe tabs at the top 
to navigate between documents instead of just having the sidebar. It would be nice to have tabbed windows at the top there. It would be just a, a different way of being able to navigate between your files. But it, it, it is a nice application and it, it does give you a lot of tools that developers need. Um, and in bearing in mind that quite a lot of the features do actually come in the free version, which is like an upgrade from Text Wrangler, um, it is quite a nice application. If I'm honest, it reminds me a little bit of Notepad++ for the Mac. Um, certainly the free version. It is a very handy tool and it's if you're a developer, it's worth having because it's something that you can open up very quickly and easily in a very lightweight editor, various different you know, code files and, and see them with syntax highlighting and make quick changes to them. Although it's not a fully featured IDE and it doesn't have a lot of advanced tools and the auto-completion for some languages just isn't very good at all, it is a nice application. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope I've answered all your questions. Uh, again, a big thank you to Barebones Software for providing the license so that I could bring this video to you today. If you do have any questions, please do leave a comment and I will do my best to respond. If you like the video, please thumbs up and for more videos like this, please do subscribe to the channel. Well, thanks for watching and bye for now.